10 famous models who were told they were too fat. As you can probably imagine, the modeling world is pretty brutal. As a model, you have to look perfect all the time, and if your type of perfect isn't trendy at the moment, it could be months or even years before you get work again. In this video, we'll be talking about some of the women who are known for their modeling abilities and were once told they were too fat to model clothes on the runway. Number 1. Gigi Hadid Gigi Hadid is one of the IT girls in fashion these days. She's gotten some criticism from people accusing her of using her wealth and famous parents to get ahead in the modeling industry. However, Hadid has insisted that her hard work has gotten her where she is. Gigi states that when she visited modeling agencies in New York in hopes of booking runway shows, she was told she'd have to lose a lot of weight. Fortunately, her mom was there to assure her that she'd find the right agency to work with. She eventually signed a contract with IMG Models and has already achieved supermodel status. Number 2. Agnes Hedengard Agnes Hedengard was told she was too big to be a model, even though she has a body mass index of 17.5, which is considered medically underweight. The 23-year-old model posted a video on YouTube to talk about the ways that the fashion industry gives women a warped sense of what it means to be healthy and beautiful. She stood in front of her mirror in a bikini to show viewers just how skinny she was and talked about the fact that she worried she wouldn't be able to support herself as a model. The video went viral and showed people that the weight expectations in the modeling world is a huge issue. Number 3. Kate Upton Can you believe Kate Upton was called fat? That's right, even one of the hottest models of our time was fat shamed. Upton's response was that she knows she's got curves and is proud of it. In 2012, a blogger from Skinny Girl said Kate Upton confidently lumbered up a runway like there's a buffet at the end of it. On top of that, she also referred to her as Little Piggy. She went on to describe her figure as huge thighs, no waist, and big fat floppy boobs. Upton's response was the high road, being proud of her body and stating that she enjoys life, doesn't do drugs, and eats on a regular basis. Number 4. Tyra Banks Even though she has officially retired from modeling, Tyra Banks is still one of the most recognizable faces in the beauty industry. She shares that she was once told she was too fat for the runway and says that in her 20s she started to get natural curves. Tyra states that her modeling agency gave her mother a list of designers that would no longer hire her due to her new weight. Banks said she would have had to go against nature and deprive her body of nutrients in order to get more work. She states that her mother took her to get pizza in response to the criticism to show Banks that she didn't need to starve herself in order to be successful. The rest, as they say, is history. Number 5. Ally Michael Ally Michael is a native of Texas and has been modeling since she was a teenager. At 15, she weighed 130 pounds and was 5 feet 9 inches, which seems pretty proportioned. These are actually measurements most women would be more than happy to show off. However, each time she tried to move forward in her career, she was told that she was too fat. She only had to lose a few pounds to model in Texas. However, modeling agencies in New York and Paris required her to be skinnier. Eventually, she was starving herself and reached 102 pounds. Michael states that the wake-up call for her was when she ran her fingers through her hair and a clump of her own tresses came out in her hand. Number 6. Philippa Hamilton Philippa Hamilton is a gorgeous model who was once one of the faces of Ralph Lauren. She's 5 feet 10 inches and weighs 120 pounds. This sounds like the description of a model to most people. However, Ralph Lauren terminated Hamilton after 8 years. She was told one day that she would no longer be working for the company because she couldn't fit into the sample clothes. Ralph Lauren denies that she was fired due to her weight, but also stated that Hamilton did not meet the obligations under her contract with us. Ralph Lauren also stated that Philippa Hamilton was an important part of the company's branding. Obviously, she wasn't important enough to stay with the company since a size 4 is apparently considered fat in the modeling world. Number 7. Kate Dillon at 16, being heralded as the next Cindy Crawford can be quite the burden, especially in an industry that continues to call you fat and tell you to lose weight. For Kate Dillon, it led to stress and an eating disorder. 
Discovered in Los Angeles, she won a contract with Elite Model Management and appeared in shoots for Bergdorf Goodman, L'Oreal, and Missani. She also walked the runway for designers such as Emporio Armani, Fendi, and Ferretti as well as Dior in 1993. By this time she had developed such an eating disorder she quit the industry and looked at starting a new career as a school teacher. Number 8. Katie Green Born in England, Katie Green is another model that has been called too fat, and it didn't take long. In fact, it was her first modeling job. All it took was the first photo shoot when they said she needed to lose weight. When Green saw an ad for Wonderbra looking for models, she had a few quick pictures taken and out of 4,000 entries, she was picked as the winner. She was to be the face of Wonderbra. When she was introduced to Premier Model Management Agency, they told her that she needed to lose weight. Still, her photos appeared on billboards, so she thought all was good. When she got called back, the entire agency wanted to know whether or not she had dropped the weight. She had not, and they said they wouldn't give her any more work, so she quit. Number 9. Cara Delevingne Sometimes in life, the best thing to have is options. For Cara Delevingne, her talents didn't only land in modeling, but also acting, allowing her to leave the industry due to body shaming and being told she was too fat. According to her, she would get calls from her agency telling her she needed to lose weight and that she shouldn't have attended a party or whatnot where she was spotted. Despite being globally known, Delavine, sick of having people judge her, now focuses on acting. Number 10. Carolina Kirkova The fashion industry, especially for models, is brutal. In fact, even if you look perfect, you can be damaged goods because you once were too fat. That is the case with Carolina Kirkova, a Victoria's Secret angel who was once referred to as the next supermodel by Vogue's Anna Wintour. This changed in 2008 when she showed up at a show in Brazil and was called chubby by the media. It turns out she had a thyroid issue and had gained 30 pounds. She underwent the surgery and was back to her modeling weight, but that wasn't good enough. Thank you for being a part of Rebella. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next, and we'll see you back tomorrow.